What is up, Backyard Bassin fans? Hope everybody had a great New Year's Eve. Uh, Happy New Year's. Uh, I'm gonna start this year off with a good video here. Um, the reason I'm gonna do this video, we're actually gonna go over a few things that will help you if you're going into tournament fishing. Um, these are a few things that you will need. Um, and I heard already down south around Texas, Florida, stuff like that, they're already starting tournaments. So I kind of wanted to get this video out there and get it going. Um, I know a lot of us here in the Midwest, we're still probably another two months off at least, you know, before we start our tournaments and probably up north, probably three months off. So just want to kind of get this out there so you guys can get the, get to know this products a little bit, maybe get it ahead of time so you have time to do all that. Um, one other thing I want to throw in there, if you guys are liking the content on the channel, make sure you're hitting that subscribe button and smash that thumbs up if you don't mind. Uh, it really helps the channel out. Um, it's greatly appreciated. And anybody that's watching the live stream, don't forget next Monday, the 6th, we will actually be on 10 Horse Monty's uh, channel for the live stream that night. Um, I still will have it on my Facebook, but we will be on 10 Horse Monty's YouTube channel, and I will link that down below along with all of this stuff that I'm going to show you today. So you don't have to go searching for it. You can go and find it really easy just down in the description. So let's jump into this. So first off, when you are tournament fishing, um, you're going to need a calling system. Um, if you guys are not familiar with a calling system, which I'm sure most of you are, I will show you, you know, kind of what I use. Now this is the Academy brand here. Um, I'm very, very, very pleased with this brand. Um, and I'll explain a little bit why here in just a second. Um, this is one calling system here. It's just calling ball with a clip. This is another calling system. Um, this is just a clip down here and then a little floating ball, you know, to keep your fish marked on which, which is which. Um, another one that we have here is just these little clips here with a string on them. Sometimes they got balls on them, whatever they, some just don't have anything. It's just a string so you can grab it and pull the fish up and see what you have. When you guys are going out and purchasing calling systems, guys, let me give you a few pointers to help you right off the bat. Number one, don't get these. You're jabbing holes in fish's mouths all over. Um, I have caught a many, many of fish that have just giant holes in their mouths and their bottom lips and stuff like that from people using these. They get in there, they get struggling around, they rip their mouths open a lot more. Um, I'm not gonna say it hurts the fish or nothing like that, but what it does is it creates that big hole in there and it does make it harder for that fish to feed. Because if you think about a bass, when he feeds, he goes up and he inhales it. Well, if he inhales that and he's got a big hole in his lip, he's not gonna get as great a suction as he normally would since he's got that big hole in his lip. So you guys, please keep that in mind. I mean, like I said, these are a cheap calling system. Now, don't get me wrong, they work. Um, if these are your only thing that you have in your boat and you have to use them, one key thing I can tell you to do is when you put them in there, if you go all the way to the front of their bottom lip, and I'm talking like up at the V, um, I tell you what, let me show you right here. Pull this guy off the wall here and I'll show you what I mean. So if you've got your bass and you're gonna put a calling system, don't go back here or way back down in there or up here on the sides or nothing like that. Don't do that. If you have to use these, and like guys, like I said, don't, if, don't use them if you don't have to. But if you have to, go right here at the very front of the lip, right up underneath there. You'll feel it's got a little like, bit of a gristle there. It's a little bit harder. You can actually, it's harder to poke it through, but you can poke it through right there in the, in the inside of the lip. And that's actually, a, that'll create just a really small hole and that won't affect it much. So if you guys have to, you know, that's preferably where you want to do it. So you don't create a big issue later down the road. So, going off of that, um, so put that guy to the side there. So this is the second one I would go with. Um, this is my second choice. There's nothing wrong with these. They don't pop. They don't poke holes. Nothing like that. They got a little thing that spreads apart there. Put it around their lip, and they can't pull it off. The downside of these, guys, I have got pretty good strong hands. Um, I've picked up a lot of rock in my life, and I'm telling you, I've got a pretty good grip. But some of these, especially when your hands are cold, are a pain in the butt to get open up wide enough to get them off their lips. So you will struggle with that a little bit. Um, I'm not saying that throws them out of the game or nothing like that, but I will tell you it is extremely hard to get some of those to open up wide enough to get them off of the lips if you've got a little bit bigger fish. 
So, like I said, not a bad deal, not a deal breaker, but just something to keep in mind. These are my number one go-tos. I absolutely love these. Um, I was actually gonna show you this a little bit at first on that first one there. As you can see, guys, that's pretty well rusted. Um, that's part of the problems with the cheap ones. If you go a little bit better quality, you're gonna get a lot of stainless. Um, these are foam, so they don't rust or nothing like that. Um, your clips are stainless, so they don't rust. And your clips are pretty much all plastic. The reason that I like these clips so much is number one, they open very wide. Um, that's gonna fit just about any bass you can fit in there, no problem at all. And also, they clip shut and snap. So your fish isn't coming off there. It works very, very well. Now, the reason I really like these, and I'll get in this a little bit more, but a scale is another thing you're gonna need for tournament fishing. This will help you out big time. Um, just weighing your fish that are very, very close to each other. But if you have these calling systems right here, like I said, they're from Academy, I'll link them down below. Um, you'll see right there, they've got a pretty big hole right there on the tip of them, which works very well for just a plain Jane, hook it right on your scale and you're done. Guys, I do not use this scale straight up between their gill plates or straight up poking a hole through the lip or nothing like that. That's why I have these. I use these all the time. They work very, very well for that. Um, they don't add weight to it or nothing like that. You don't have to worry about it throwing you off. Um, but like I said, these are probably my favorite ones right here. They work very easy. You can do them one-handed. Um, no poking holes in lips. They don't come off in your live well. Like I said, they work very, very well. Okay, so second thing we'll get into, like I said, we just touched base on this a little bit, is the scale. This is a cheap Berkeley scale. I think I spent maybe 25 or 30 bucks for it. It's not a very expensive scale. It does hold, um, I think, up to five or 10 different weights in there for you. Um, so you can kind of go through there. It does them in pounds and it also does them in uh, ounces too. Um, it's very easy to use. You know, press the button, turn it on, turn it off, stuff like that. Put it on there to zero it out. It's very easy. You just hold down a power button for a second. It zeroes it out. Um, like I said, it's an inexpensive scale. It works very well. Um, I've had zero issues out of this thing and I've had it for probably two years. So, um, use it all the time. Very easy to use. Like I said, if you guys going into tournament fishing, you're going to have a lot of fish. If you fish like places where I fish, where you have a lot of uh, slot limits and stuff like that, you'll have a lot of bass the same exact size. You're not going to be able to pick them up and just go, oh, that one's bigger, that one's smaller. You're going to have to weigh them. Um, but referring to that, if you don't have a scale, the other thing you're going to need is a calling beam. Um, if you buy this set here from Academy, the calling beam already comes with it. This thing, I didn't ever think I'd really use it, but getting into that scenario, rather than having to dig that scale out every time, I leave this laying out on the boat. And the nice thing about this, guys, you can take these right here, these calling systems, and just hang it right on the side here. You know, you got both your fish, you just hang them both up there and it's going to go to whatever side's heavier. It's a quick, easy measurement and you're done. So that's another thing. It's not a necessity, but it makes it very, very helpful on the boat when you're fishing tournaments. So, all right, guys, going on away from that. The one thing I do not have here, I ran out a couple months ago and I haven't replaced it yet because Academy has been out, is a product that's called Keep Alive. Um, guys, this is, a, this is a product that you put in your live well. It keeps the, the oxygen in there. It keeps all the nitrates down in there so you don't have fish kill in your live well. Um, takes the ammonia out of it and everything else. Um, it's a very, very cheap bottle. I think I paid maybe eight or nine bucks for it and I pretty much use that the whole year. Um, but guys, if you're fishing tournaments, definitely get you some fish to keep alive. Um, it's a cheap product. There's other ones out there, but that seems to be probably the best one I've ever used and it is on the cheaper side. You just pour a little bit in your live well, fill it up, keep your water in there, and it keeps it good and circulated with your circulations going and keeps your fish alive and healthier a lot longer. All right, guys. So, pliers. Guys, <laughs> this is the most useful tool you can have on your boat, I'm telling you. Um, not only for getting you know deeper hook sets out of fish's mouths, um, getting hooks out of your own hand or arms or wherever else you may get them in your carpet. Um, just an emergency all around the boat. I mean, I've had to use these for, you know, taking off my nuts, off my uh, 
my battery terminals, stuff like that. I mean, guys, don't go without a good set of pliers. And I will tell you, since I have bought this set of aluminum pliers, I could not be happier. Um, I've had stainless ones, I've had just the regular metal ones, the cheap ones. Um, one, the cheaper ones, they constantly rust and stuff like that. The problem I had with the stainless ones, a lot of times what happened was is I was getting, once I'd get something, I'd hold it tight, I was actually warping the tip of it. So I couldn't, my tip wouldn't close anymore. So I kind of, they're not bad or nothing like that. It took quite a bit to do that, but that's just one thing I liked and they're heavy. But you go with the aluminum ones. Like I said, this I bought these at Academy too. Um, I think I paid like five bucks, six bucks for them. They're very cheap. They're very reliable. Um, they work very, very well, and they're light in hand, so they work really good. Um, if you guys have any other questions about tournament fishing, anything like that, I know this isn't for everybody, but there are a lot of guys out there that are still doing tournament fishing. So if you guys have any questions at all, you know, please comment down below. I'll be more than happy to answer anything you got or anything else you might uh, inquire about. Um, one other thing I do have um, that I will show you guys, let's say you do have these here. If you go to Bass Pro or Academy or a few other places or even online, you can buy these little clamps here. And all these are is they're a little spring-loaded clamp that you can squeeze down and it spreads that apart. So if you don't want to throw away, if you have a set of these, you can buy a little set of these. I think I paid maybe seven or eight bucks for a set of these of five. Um, these will actually, they go right through. They've got a little keyhole right at the bottom there. You can connect them on there. Now you don't have to poke a hole through that fish's mouth and you got this little clamp that works good and holds them there. So you can continue to use these so you don't have to just get rid of them just because of the, the hole punching there. So. All right, guys, that's all I have for today. Like I said, don't forget the live stream will be on 10 Horse Monty's channel Monday evening at 7. I will still be on my Facebook channel for that doing the live stream too. But that's all I have for today. We will see you guys again next time, and good fishing.